Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and today I'm going to show you a new plugin for SPP Mobile Shell 3.5, and this is actually MSkip's Pro Plus Elegance. So as you can see, the first thing we have is the lifestyle pro, uh, layout here. So um, we actually have seven separate pages that we can flip through and select different widgets or whatnot. So um, as you can see, there's a little bar here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just going to start at one. We'll flip over here. So here's the first one. We'll just go back. As you can see, we have seven pages. And the most you can have on the SPB Mobile Shell 3.5 is actually only five. And another cool feature about this is it allows you to change the background images. So if we flip through prof to professional, the default image on this, of course, is just a black background. So we can also, of course, have five separate screens on this one, but that's, of course, a setting inside the SPP Mobile Shell 3.5 settings. we we'll just flip through. Another cool feature about this is if we're on the professional screen, we can just click this middle button, and it will bring us to our task manager. So we can either close or end programs. So go back. And if we flick back up or down, we bring, it brings us to our lifestyle layout. So we can click on this center button, and that actually brings us to our calendar. Of course, there's nothing in here right now. We'll actually go to the carousel, and you'll see that the images stay on the carousel, so that's pretty neat. And of course, the new SVB Mobile Shell 3.5 has this uh, three-dimensional carousel, which uh, rotates on many different axes. Let's see if we can actually get it to work here. So as you can see, there it goes. It spins around. It's pretty cool. So the cool thing about this program is that you can actually change the background to any image you like. Of course, you will need to specify a um, your screen resolution. So if you have a QVGA screen, you'll need to have it at the same resolution as QVGA and, of course, a VGA, VGA, and so on and so forth. And I'll post a link in pocketnow.com as to how to get this program. And as well, I will post the instructions on how to change the background. Thanks for watching.